Hello, this is Ben and Hunter with Red Barn Talks and today's episode five we're going to chronicle our boat build, Father Leo. and Son, that we did uh, starting in April. We finished in June, so I'll just start. Uh, we built a boat, a we seven did. foot pram with a two and a half amazing. horsepower outboard motor on it very amazing and we worked hard on it so here's how it started we did a podcast about ships we did which yeah. was our third podcast and before that we had decided to build a boat i ordered plans from glenelg marine based out of california and they sent us blueprints full-size prints and basically mm -hmm. you chase out all the pieces on the wood you cut them out the wood is a uh, very expensive quarter inch marine plywood called Hydrotech BS 1088, I believe, or 1099, 1088. I had to drive to Dallas to pick up this wood. It was about $200 a sheet. Glendale Marine also sent us the, the stitch and glue kit, which comes with a two-part epoxy, fiberglass tape, and copper stitching. I really think we over epoxied it. I know we did. So, and the state of Oklahoma had no objections. And um, so, Pretty nice. there's a picture of you and Asher uh, tracing out the plans. Yep. And then, and then there's our boat. Stitching it together with the copper wire so you mm -hmm. drill holes in the sides. And you stitch it together, and glue then it up, glue remove it up. the stitches. And then you have your boat. Paint it, epoxy it, and it's ready to go in the yeah. water. So then you, you, uh, what we did was we glued the seams of the hole and the seats each three times. So I wanted to make sure that the thing did not leak. Yes. And so far it has been a huge success. We have taken the boat to Overholzer. Yep. Lake Overholzer here in Bethany also, three times. Table Rock. And Table Rock Lake up near Branson, Missouri. Pretty amazing. We saw the Hay Goods up there. Yeah, we did go watch the Hay Goods good show. show. They were excellent. Mm -hmm. And there are, is you and Asher with your respirators and safety glasses painting the exterior of the hull. Yep. So the color scheme of this boat is a um, an olive green color for the interior it's called tapenade we used a ppg brand pentane ultra marine paint we did three coats on the interior and we did actually four coats of um, oyster white on the exterior yep. there was a lot of gluing so the trim i'll tell everybody the trim is African teak. Yes. So all the bow knees, the transom knees, the motor board, the gunwales, which are the sides of the boat, is all African teak. And we named the boat Little Sunfish. Little Sunfish. Very so nice. we made our own stencil. It has even the, the, the keel, or they call it the skeg, that helps you steer the boat on the bottom of the boat. Mm -hmm is made of African teak and we tested it out on a Lake. pond nearby yeah. Spitler Lake and it was a uh, that day the the bow was not plain and right it was a little <laughs> high so we added just a little bit of weight and adjusted the trim on the motor and it operates Amazing. beautifully now and then we, through the help 
of my good friend Glenn, who works the state. We got it registered and tagged, and so we're legal beagle. Oh, another thing, we had custom uh, seats made for the boat. Mm -hmm. uh, a local uh, upholsterer in town made us some custom seats. We put grip tape in the bottom of the boat, and then we ran electronics. We have two independent batteries and mm -hmm. switches, one that runs the stern light and one that runs the navigation light at the front. And we have all the required safety equipment by the state, flotation devices, and uh, emergency paddles and fire extinguisher. Yeah. And the trailer. So I had a four by six trailer I've had since 2014. Yeah. And we cut the tailgate off and we put some bunk boards on the bottom, wrapped them in uh, marine carpet, boat carpet, if you will. And it works perfectly. We welded on a uh, boat winch to hook up to the bow eye. We got some tie downs. We welded on some angle iron to make the guide rails. Mm -hmm. And it was a huge mm -hmm. success and a lot of work. I highly recommend it. I highly recommend Glen L. Marine boat designs. Yes, it was pretty amazing. Not sponsored. Yeah, it yeah. was uh, not too difficult. It was just a lot of work. Mm. A lot of work. It was very uh, time-consuming, but we did it, and we're going to enjoy it for amazing. years to come. Mm -hmm. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Thank you. Again, we encourage you, if you're going to build a boat, use Glen L. Marine Designs. Yep. So signing off for Red Barn Talks, I'm and Ben. I'm Hunter. And for backup, nothing much. Bye. Have a great day. Bye.